Hello and welcome to the VBA Jetpack course by Trump Excel. I'm Sumit Bansal and in this video we will learn how to use message box in VBA in Excel. So let's get started. Here I have a workbook open and I've opened the VB editor here. I have module 1 inserted and here is where we would write our code. Now message box is something that we have already seen in a couple of videos and that is a pop-up that you see with some text written on it and there are a couple of buttons in it. In this video we will learn how we can customize the message box and how exactly does it work. So let's uh, write a simple code here. Let's say we are writing the code display message and here I would use uh, the message box with MSG BOX that's the keyword for message box and as soon as I press spacebar you can see that I have this entire quick info menu here which says prompt buttons as VB message box style is equal to VB OK only and uh, a lot of things we'll see how to use this one then we have the title help file context and then we see that it re it returns an object which is VB message box result so now let's first simply display a message good morning so we would simply type good morning in double quotes and that is it we would run this macro and when we run this macro we get this dialog box which says good morning now let's go through the elements of this dialog box it has Microsoft Excel written here it has this button this cross this uh, closing button and then it has one button OK now in this we can almost uh, customize everything except maybe for this uh, cross we can change this we can change the text here we can change the text here and we can also change the buttons plus we can also add a couple of icons here which will show maybe uh, something is critical or something is information so let's go back and, ch uh, and see let's click OK and notice uh, when we click OK nothing happens so you may want something to happen and we'll see how that works let's come here and let let me press uh, comma and as soon as I do that we come to this part which is buttons and in, in buttons I have this entire drop down and you can see that there are so many options we have VB critical let's just quickly see what VB critical does so we'll just use these two uh, arguments and when we run this code now we have the same box but we have this icon here a red icon with a, a white cross so you can customize this uh, box here with using different icons let's go through other options that are available let me press comma and here we have VB critical then we have these default buttons we have exclamation if I show you how exclamation looks this is uh, what it looks like let's go back again we have information which which would be uh, an ex which would be in yellow in sorry blue circle then we have VB OK cancel VB OK only these would be buttons if I use VB OK or cancel then I would have two buttons let's see how it looks like so when I press this now I have two buttons OK and cancel let's go back uh, another thing that you can do is you can combine these buttons and the icons so for example here I can use VB uh, critical plus VB VB OK cancel now when I use these two in such a combination where I have a plus in between see what happens when I run this it now shows me uh, Microsoft Excel as the title good morning as the text I have this icon and now I have these two buttons OK and cancel now let's move on to the other parameters here the third one is a title in title you can mention what you want as the title earlier it was Microsoft Excel but you can mention a title here let's say we use welcome message then let's run this code and now you can see I have welcome message here good morning with the icon and these two buttons and finally we have help file you can specify a help file so there would be an icon and if someone clicks on it then help file gets open and then there would be context uh, so this is how you can use a message box now it's not it's not necessary that you have to have text here you can also use something which is there 
in uh, the cell in your workbook so let's say in this case I don't want to use this rather I want to use uh, the value here in this cell so in this cell let's say I have the value hello and let's go back I would press alt f11 I would edit this code and instead of using this text I would rather use range a1 dot value now it would do the same thing it would pick up this value from here and then it would display that so if I run this it does the same thing it shows me this message box and here I have hello instead of good morning because it has picked up this value so what you can do is instead of having uh, the hard-coded uh, text here or hard-coded value you can use a value from the workbook the worksheet or you can also use variables here so let's say I have a variable here I use a variable dim message as string and here I initialize message as welcome buddy now instead of this range here I can also use this variables I can use message here and now when I run this it shows welcome buddy and again these two buttons now if you're not very used to using message box you may get confused because there is message here and then this is VB critical ok cancel and welcome message uh, so you can make it more clear by giving titles to it so for example here if I uh, remove this entire thing and I come here you can see it says prompt so what we can do is we can write prompt then we have colon equal to and here we can say message which is uh, our variable here similarly after comma I can use buttons here so I can say buttons equal to VB say I select VB OK and cancel and now when I run this code it will give me welcome buddy and then it will give me these buttons what has happened here is instead of using those commas I would now specifically know that now this is my prompt which is a variable which is message I have the button which is VBOK cancel if I have a welcome message then I can I can also use it like title is equal to welcome message and now when I run this it will show welcome message here welcome buddy as the text and OK and cancel as buttons let me cancel this now you can also concatenate different text here say what for example let me delete this entire thing and let's say here I have my name here so I have Sumit Bansal written here and in message box I want to show that my name is and the value in this cell so what I would do here is I would type message box and here I would type my name is ampersand range a1 dot value so here I have concatenated using the ampersand sign now let's run this code I would run this and it shows my name is Sumit Bansal and you can also introduce a new line so for example in this case I want this in one line and then I want another line which is uh, displayed as a separate line in the message box so to do that what you can do is I would close this with a period and then here I would type VB new line and VB new line would introduce a new line in the message box now I can continue the message and I can say how are you this is my message now when I run this message box code oops I forgot to add ampersand here and an ampersand here now when I run this code I also need to separate this out okay so now when we run this code it shows my name is Sumit Bansal and in another line it shows how are you so this is how you can use a message box you can display different kinds of icons uh, you can display different kinds of buttons but so far what we have done is we have showed something in the uh, message box something pops up and then we click OK or cancel but something needs to happen in this case if say for example if I use this question do you like coffee 
and now if I run this message box it says do you like coffee and let me also use the VB yes no button here so now when we run this a user gets this prompt do you like coffee and the options are yes and no but when I click yes nothing happens similarly I again run this I click no and nothing happens and this should not be the case something needs to happen so if you are developing real world applications then in that case something needs to progress when you say yes then something should happen when you say no then something should happen so for that here we will use a variable and then we would record the response of the user by when he clicks the button in the message box and then display another message so the first thing we need to do is we need to have the message box result captured somewhere we would use say this variable message box result as and now in this case we also need to know what kind of result can we expect what is the data type of the result that we can expect when we would uh, click on that button so to do that before we initialize before we declare this let's go into the object browser here and here type message box and search for it when you do that then you would see that we have these options available here VB message box style VB message box result now if you remember let me go back here and if you notice this here it says it returns VB message box result so it would return VB message box result and that is what would be the uh, data the object variable here so let's again go back to this object browser and here we would go to VB message box result and when we, go, when we go here you can see these are the kinds of results that would appear so we would have VB abort, VB cancel, VB ignore, VB no, ok, retry or yes so in my question where, where I ask do you like coffee the person can say yes or no and if he says yes the result would be 6 if he says no the result would be 7 which means that these are nothing uh, but some numbers but in case of numbers we can also use these VB no and VB yes so to capture this either you can use a simple thing such as say byte here so you can say this would be byte and now the result would be a number which would be stored as a byte or you can also use VB message box result and VB message box result would also store it uh, in either as a number or as the text VB OK or VB yes or VB no so now in this case let's uh, we have this message box we have these buttons and here we would capture the result of this so to capture the result of this we would use message box result is equal to and here we would have to enclose it it within uh, these round brackets because this is how it works so if you have this message box the result would be saved in message box result and now we can say if message box result is equal to VB yes then we can show the message box great and maybe we can write it goes well with muffin and if that is not the case else we will show the message box you should try star box sometime so this is what is happening and here we would then close if if you have not gone through uh, the the videos where we talk about if then else then don't worry we will uh, do that in probably the next video or in a couple of videos after this uh, but let's see what happens when we run this code so let me minimize this and let's go through this I would step into this code and here the first thing is message box result is equal to this and it gives us this prompt and say I select yes and as soon as I select yes it goes here here it checks whether this is equal to VB yes or not and here it is because VB yes is equal to 6 so it displays great it goes well with muffin and it ends it now let's go through this again here this time I said no and it goes to else because this is not correct 
it comes to else here it says you should try Starbucks sometime so if you run this code not stepping through but you run this code here so I come here and I run this code it says do you like coffee I press yes and it says great it goes well with muffin so this is how you can capture the result of message box and then do something with it in this case we displayed another message box but you can do something else you can run another code or you can put a value somewhere or you can do whatever you want but this is how you can use message box in Excel in VBA so that's it in this video I hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day